Welcome to this week's edition of the Manshake video blog. I'm Tomo, this is Adam McDougall. Um, today, we're going to talk about something that's pretty close to my heart, I guess. But um, is it possible to just be big boned? Oh, look, uh, you can be big boned, but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, you don't have many bones in your guts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this is the thing, right? Because uh, me and I know a lot of my mates are the same. We've got a little bit of extra junk around the trunk. Yeah. But pretty fit, you know? Yeah. You know, you know, play sport on the weekend, play a bit of sport during the week, go to the gym four or five days a week. Am I still in danger of some of the, the risks that come with having a bit of a gut? Yeah, for sure. And, and particularly gut fat, we just touched upon it. It's the most dangerous type of fat that our bodies can store. So not only does it strangle all our internal organs, it releases toxins throughout our body and into our bloodstream, which actually kill us. So, you know, your chances of getting cancer, heart disease, diabetes and whatnot escalate once you have a big gut. So the largest indication of your predicted outcome of your life is really your size of your gut. So if you take a measurement and you're over 40 inches or 96 centimetres, you've got big problems. So, so it doesn't matter how fit you are, yeah. it doesn't mean you're necessarily healthy. Well, like we say, you can't out train a bad diet, so there's no point in going to the gym or going for a walk and a, or a jog for half an hour then down in the sports drink. You just put more calories in your body than you've just burnt. And you know, you can be strong in the gym and you can run and whatnot, but the key is what you put in your body food wise. And there's two different you know effects, exercise, keeps you a bit fit, but food is determining how you look. Uh, what about, what do you say to guys who say, oh, I was just born this way? Yeah, well that's a cop out, isn't it? You know, I, you know, I was born to lose my hair, but unfortunately you weren't born to actually have it, something that hangs over your old fella, and uh, you can't see it because you, you're too fat. So, you know, I feel sorry for guys that, you know, want to keep making excuses, but we've just got to take some ownership of our health, and uh, as I say, man up and, and do something about it. There you have it. There's no such thing as being a big bone. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's this week's edition of the Manshake Video Blog. We'll catch you next time.